Hi, this is James Glass with James Glass Company and I want to talk a little bit about ceiling fans. So, in this particular project I need to, this is substantial, I need to do a lot of work over here. Um, we've got roof work, we've got demo work, we've got all kinds of stuff going on and I noticed that the ceiling fan um, was a little wonky and I was hoping that it was just going to be a loose bolt but I was suspecting that it was actually going to be the dreaded ceiling fan and a light box installed by a loser and that's exactly what it was. So the power's off here but see how that box is completely loose. I can pull it down, push it up, pull it down, push it up. That's a light box. There's the light switch for it. Light box. So what somebody did was they took the light fixture that was here uh, down and they thought, oh, well, let's have a ceiling fan, that'd be lovely. Except the box isn't rated to support the weight of a ceiling fan. There are ceiling fan boxes. I see this so often. It just drives me insane. And then one day, you know, the, finally everything gives way and, you know, everything falls. And of course it hangs from the Romex usually. But the, by the time it falls and hangs from the Romex, the ceiling, bl ceiling fan blades are chopping into the ceiling like a crazy, you know, Oliver Stone helicopter crash in a Vietnam movie. This, is, this kind of crap drives me nuts. And so someone else inherits the problem. So in this case, the homeowner who is doing, another, who's doing other work here now has inherited the problem of this fan. So what I'm going to have to do is crawl into the attic and it's a 412 pitch roof. So it's going to be, at this point, it's going to be about ooh, 10 inches high. So I need to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy down into the attic pull this light box out, because they do want to keep the fan, install the correct fan box, hook everything back up, and it'll look just like it did before, except it won't be hanging down. <sighs> so, the moral of the story. Do not hang a ceiling fan in any old box. If you do not know what kind of box you have, figure it out before you just go hang a ceiling fan in it because ceiling fan boxes and light boxes are not rated. One of the things that came up during the course of this repair was a ceiling fan that I discovered that was hanging from a light box. And the reason I noticed it uh, in the area of the house that was affected by the water leak, which led to the structural decay, I was up on a ladder. I was kind of looking at the ceiling fan. I was looking around. And I'm like, whoa, look at that fan. It's coming down from the box. And I was kind of hoping it was just going to be the you know, the bolts were coming loose. I did, didn't think that was going to happen. It was probably going to be the wrong box. And upon further investigation, sure enough, it was just a light box. It wasn't the approved ceiling fan box. So I'm crawling up here in the attic today to also fix the ceiling fan. And so the way to do that is with the ceiling brace um, and box kit. This particular one is made for tight spaces, sort of retro work. You can also get, it's about $15. You can get the same company makes one for uh, new construction work that's about $9. But the important thing is you have to put a box in that's capable of holding up the weight of the fan. And the kit that you buy or the box that you buy will have numbers on it in terms of weight. It'll be rated. It'll say up to 35 pounds or up to 50 pounds. It's vitally important that ceiling fans get hung from properly supported boxes. The alternative is the fan falls on you, or the fan falls and it, the Romex wiring catches it and then the blades hit the ceiling and you, uh, they shatter and go all over the place. I've seen it happen. And you know, you wake up in the middle of the night covered in bits of fan blade and you know, your ceiling's all messed up. So uh, getting the appropriate box in is well, it's a, it's a pretty big deal because ceiling fans are heavy and you don't want one conking you in the head. So I'm going to put this in today. Uh, this is the wire where the uh, uh, ceiling fan is mounted. And it's one of the original wires to the modular house. And the very first thing I'm going to do is use my inductive tester to make sure that it is in fact off. The green light tells me that there is no power there. And 
the second thing I'm going to do is tell you about how badly installed this was. This wire might be original to the house or pretty close to it, but I can't even believe that the people at the modular company would have installed this with a piece of concrete board and... Uh, sorry, I'm grunting here. I'm in, working in about 12 inches of space. Um, here's, the, here's what the fan did. They nailed this 2x6 with one nail, by the way. See that one nail? And they nailed a 4x4 four four block to the 2x6. And then they supported that box. Let's see if we can get down in there. Let's see. Uh, this is hard. Okay, there's the box right down there. That's the box that's fallen. See? Let's pull it all the way out. See that? It's held in place by this broken 4x4 uh, four four block. Here this is a light box, which was holding up a ceiling fan, which is held up to a 4x4 four four scab, which is held to a 2x6 that was a concrete form, which is nailed in by one nail. That oh, is bedroom. Just... Okay, well what I'm going to do is get this all taken apart, and I'm going to install this ceiling brace kit. And this is what should have been installed in the first place, or something like it. And then we won't have this problem any more. It's threaded for adjustability so that it can go between ceiling joists. Comes with all the necessary hardware. And what makes it so strong is that this bar um, gets secured to the insides of the studs and then this clamp holds the box in place and there's no way the ceiling fan alone by weight or by its movement can uh, rip all this metal out. Um, this is rated to uh, 50 pounds and our ceiling fan is not uh, even close to 50 pounds. Okay, all the work in the attic is done, which is nice. And I now have the new uh, retrofit inch and a half deep uh, approved ceiling fan box in place. There was enough Romax up there that I went ahead and ran out of new six inches, which is the uh, correct amount. And I now have a um, box that's capable of supporting 50 pounds. So, now all that's left to do is ceiling fan installed. Fan. It took five or ten minutes or so to install it in the box and uh, ground the box and get everything hung and looking nice. And now... we have a properly installed ceiling fan.